I'm Dr David Tyfield from the Centre for Mobilities Research at Lancaster University uh, and I'll be leading the second work package of the project which is looking at low carbon innovation in urban mobility in China. Transport generally is a very important element of uh, low carbon transition uh, if it is to happen. It, it accounts for um, a good percentage, 20-25% of global greenhouse gas emissions as they stand and dealing with those have, has been called on some uh, accounts the, the hardest case. Uh, China also is extremely important in this regard because while per capita emissions and number of cars per person remains relatively low, in comparison to the West in particular, uh, it's growing very fast and this is associated with an urbanisation process uh, which is unprecedented in history. Probably about 350 million people, uh, a mind-boggling number, uh, are moving into Chinese cities in the next generation uh, and many of them will be seeking to buy a car or not for the first time. Uh, as with the other work packages, we'll be comparing two models of innovation associated uh, with uh, low carbon innovation in this particular domain. On the one hand we have the, uh, the kind of innovation which has attracted most attention, both from policy makers, businessmen and from the press in China and abroad which is the possibility of a, a Chinese brand of electric vehicle, by which I mean a car, a four-wheeled car. This is seen within China as the opportunity to break into what stands as a global car oligopoly, uh, and also, of course, to, for China to be able to have a high-tech uh, global brand uh, in the industry of industries. It has also had uh, enormous uh, backing from governments at uh, all levels of state, provincial, um, and local. Uh, on the other hand, we have a, uh, a low tech, low IP kind of model, uh, which is uh, utterly dominated by small Chinese firms which sell electric two wheelers. Uh, and these have uh, absolutely taken off. There are approximately 120 million, 130 million of them on Chinese roads. And on that figure alone, we see a striking discrepancy with the success of the electric vehicle, which for all the support and interest it's received, uh, is selling uh, quite slowly, or very slowly in fact, uh, in China. Uh, and so we're keen to uh, explore these different models and to see what are the prospects, politics and practice uh, of innovation in these two areas in full comparison.